Here's how you can make around 600 to 700 silver every 20 minutes and outward. Start by making a new character. It doesn't matter what his name is. Have him go left up here so he can grab the fishing harpoon. Make sure you grab the bandage next to the second fire up here. And then just go to sleep real quick so you spawn in your house. Now just go to sleep again until it's night time. It's actually important that it's night. I'm going to turn off the brightness so it's easier to see here. Pick up a bunch of the junk in your house. Don't pick up anything that's really heavy and isn't that expensive. It's not worth it. Go downstairs and make yourself some food here. It's nice to get the stamina improvement because then when you're sprinting, which you're going to be doing a lot here, it'll make it so you lose your stamina slower because food-based stamina regen will still cause you to regenerate stamina while you're running. Go ahead and skip all this dialogue. It doesn't matter. If I could, you must. This is your once you remember. You only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Now we're gonna go ahead and head to the uh, city hall. There's a treasure chest in here, which sometimes has some pretty good stuff in it. We weren't that lucky this time, but it's usually worth it. Next, we're going to go get our water, and we're going to get some fish on the, sh on the shore. Fish have a chance of giving you blue sand, which is a crafting material that sells for a good chunk of silver. That's why you want to get as much fish as you can doing this. Be sure to also drink water, because it gives you an additional stamina regeneration boost. Before you continue, sell all of your stuff at the blacksmith, with the exception of the fishing harpoon, the bandage, the food you made, and your water. Check the junk pile over here, sometimes it has decent stuff in it. Keep in mind the weight of the equipment you're getting. And grab the mining pick here. Put your fishing harpoon, your mining pick, your water, and your bandage in your pocket and let everything else go into your satchel. It'll help with inventory management as you move on. Just proceed out this way through the cave. And run along the shoreline, getting any fish you see. There'll be a survivor up ahead that you're going to need to use that bandage on, and he'll give you a tribal favor, which sells for 45 silver, which is pretty nice. Grab any blue sand you see on the beach. It's, again, it's a very expensive crafting material. And make your way over to this cave. This cave is why you need it to be nighttime. If it's daytime, the water will be risen inside this cave and you won't be able to grab anything. Grab any nodes with ore that you see along the shoreline. There's only two, but they are also an expensive crafting material. Now just continue running along the shoreline, getting any fish or nodes or blue sand that you see.
free to, feel free to drop any salmon because they actually weigh two or one half a unit of weight and only cost one silver each, so they take up a lot of space and aren't worth much. Next we're going to head over to the cave nearby town. Just follow directions that you're seeing on the video here to find your way. And in that cave is more stuff for us to get money from. Be careful not to miss this left turn coming up, it's pretty easy to not notice. Once in the cave, feel free to loot this first guy here. Sometimes he has some good stuff on him. And the easiest way to navigate through this cave, at least for where we're going, is to just hug the left wall for now. Until you get an item that's called the Giant Heart Garnet. Once you go to this little narrow spot and see these bones, keep in mind there's a corpse on the left here that you might have more good stuff. And we get a small sapphire out of it, so that's pretty good. The giant heart garnet's right here. So now, don't follow the hug left wall rule anymore. Check the right over here, and you'll see a big open room. Go left, and down this tunnel up here. There's a chest in here that can sometimes have good stuff. It's pretty hit or miss. There's also a mana stone here. The basic mana stone doesn't sell for that much silver, but you have a chance to get a much rarer type of mana stone, which will sell for 50 silver. So it's worth hitting any mana stones you see. Next we're going to head down here to the center of the room to grab the mushroom shield. We'll be able to give this to a character back in town for 70 silver. Only one, though. So if you see more than one, uh, you won't be able to sell multiple for 70 silver. Now the exit of the cave is here on our right, but we're actually going to proceed a little bit further down here to get a couple more items. There's another junk pile. I accidentally picked up a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and drop that. It's five units of weight, it's a bit too much. And there's another mana ore over here. We got lucky this time and we did indeed get one Hackmanite. I believe that's how it's, how it's pronounced. But that's worth 50 silver. Now we just need to head back to town to sell all of our stuff.
the character up here will buy our giant heart garnet as well as our mushroom shield. Greetings, friend. In total, you'll make a hundred silver from this. Excellent. Greetings, lend me. You've earned this. Now we're going to go ahead and talk to any of the merchants in town and just sell absolutely everything that we can. Greetings, friend. What can I do? All right. Don't forget to take off your equipment and sell what you can there as well. What? All right. And that's everything sold. We have about 600, yeah, we have 672 silver. Now, you're going to jump to the character that you want to get all of this money on. I'm going to use Fiona here. Once in, activate split screen and use a second controller to spawn your other character, have him drop his backpack and go ahead and just loot the money out of it. Then if you don't want his backpack in your roll, just have him pick it back up and send him away. And that's all there is to it. Rinse and repeat as much as you want. 